large pistols and small targets on the next The Right Stuff. This Smith & Wesson Long Barrel 44 Magnum brings spectacular accuracy and a noticeable kick. Contenders will shoot a Birchwood Casey ground strike hex ball target and convince it to leave its cozy home in the center of the field. Fastest shooter with the fewest shots and solid forearms will win this one. The right stuff begins right now. It's day six on the right stuff, and the guys will try some target shooting with the revolvers. Good morning, welcome to day six of the right stuff. This morning's challenge is the Birchwood Casey reactive target. You'll be firing the Smith & Wesson 629 44 Magnum using Fioki ammo. Today's challenge consists of a ball in the middle of our center circle. You'll get six rounds through the 44 Magnum. Your goal is with the least number of shots possible to move that ball outside the target. You understand what we're doing today? Let's see who has the right stuff. Hi, I'm Paul Pluff with Smith & Wesson. Today's challenge, Birchwood Casey rolling ball, or rolling target, uh, is gonna be quite the challenge. It'll be interesting, especially out here in the desert. So one of the things they gotta do is look at here is they need to knock this ball out of the center of that target all the way to the outside edge. So what does that mean? That means they need to have a gun that actually has enough energy behind it or enough power to do just that. And this is one of the guns we're going to be using it. This is a 625JM model of Smith & Wesson, which stands for Jerry Mickler. Uh, you'll notice that it's got the custom grips on there, nice and smooth. And these grips actually have been thinned out a little bit to allow it to get you, your hand get wrapped around much tighter so the competitors can get that nice, high, tight grip like this. Okay, it's 45 ACP, so they're going to use moon clips with this gun. So if they have to reload, it should be fairly quick. Uh, and that's going to be up to them. Well, what we're hoping is, because I'll tell you straightforward, it's got that really nice front sight on here. It's a McGivern gold bead. They should be able to pick it up really quick in the sunlight. The question is, is are you going to have that proper sight picture? The gun itself is accurate. The uh, trigger on this thing is nice and smooth. Uh, so the gun shouldn't have a problem. The question is, is will the competitors? But if anything's going to do it, this one should. So let's hope for the best with this one. How's it going? I'm Nick Wickham with the Las Vegas Pro Gun Club. Here at the Pro Gun Club, we do have a variety of rentals for you available. We have pistols, uh, regular rifles, full auto rifles, um, shotguns. If you need to rent a shotgun for the courses, all the sporting clay courses, the skeet courses, those are available as well. Um, the pistols, we have Glocks, SIGs, 1911s, as well as the Desert Eagle 50 cal. And also the rifles are a variety, full auto, semi-auto, uh, different calibers ranging from 9mm all the way to 50 cal. So the Desert Eagle shoots the 50. For our pistols, we have the Glock 19, the Glock 17, we have the SIG 226, uh, carried by most military as well as law enforcement. We have the Smith & Wesson M&P 9s and 45s, Action Express. So available to explode, we have cars, watermelons, and also other objects you can shoot. We're using the Tannerite explosive, which is a wonderful experience for big bachelor parties, out of state, out of country, something you don't get to do at home. And we hope to see you guys soon. Well, for the challenge today, we had a Birchwood Casey self-healing target that was put in the middle of a bullseye, I guess you'd call it. And the objective was to shoot it out of the target in the least shots that you could. Shooter ready. Stand by. Uh, it was interesting. I mean, you, you could definitely see it when you hit them. They roll around quite a bit. Uh, 
the trigger felt good, the gun felt good all around. I was really surprised it had as little recoil as it did for the caliber. Point with it, I guess, as well as I can a semi-auto pistol, but it was a good feeling gun all around. Unload, show clear. Range is clear. Shooter ready. Stand by. Uh, the challenge was a fun one today. The the Birchwood Casey target with the Performance Center Smiths were, it, it was unknown. I didn't know how well they were gonna roll whenever they, when they were shot. Uh, we have some Birchwood Casey targets at home, and but nothing like that. So I, I was pleasantly surprised at how quick they went out. Uh, I'd never shot the 629 before today, but the, uh, the everything on it was smooth as glass. The hammer was just super easy to pull back for the single action shooting. The trigger was clean, crisp, uh, no creep, no over travel. It was really, really nice pistol. Uh, felt recoil was almost non-existent with that comp on the end. It was a good gun. Now, unload show clear. Head on back down. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Smith & Wesson, Remington, UTM, and Pro Gun Club. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Fioki, Progressive Force Concepts, and CompTAC. Shooter ready. Stand by. It was a lot easier than I thought it was, it was going to be, but due to the, the wind, you know, we're shooting into the wind and trying to roll a ball outside in circles. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder than what it was. But actually, with the firearms we're using, they're spot on. Smooth action, very accurate, and it worked out good in my favor. Birchwood Casey targets, first time I've ever shot at them and used them. And uh, so I was kind of worried about how it would perform. So I just, my strategy was just aim at the top third of it, try to get the inertia, get, get it high to get the ball rolling. Range is clear. Shooter ready. Stand by. A challenge was to knock it out. You had point values outside the center and try to do it in the least amount of shots. Ideally, with these guys, you better be on the complete outside to get 10 points and hopefully do it in the least amount of shots. Um, it, was a, it was a little unnerving as you're shooting because you're hearing the other guy shoot, but you don't know. You don't know if they got it out or just soft or what. That 44 Magnum with that comp on it and it threw the performance center. Clean break on the trigger, you just leaned on a little bit and it, it was like shooting a nine mil. You really didn't even notice it. Um, the 45 was even better. I mean, it was just, it was crisp even though the barrel was shorter and it was, it was just money. It, it helped the average shooter look better than they were. Range is clear. Hi, I'm Paul Fluff from Smith & Wesson. Today's challenge is the Birchwood Casey rolling ball challenge target. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting because the competitors have to shoot this ball out of, out of the circle. But we've decided to make it a little bit more difficult because that's, that's in itself not so challenging uh, if you're a good shot. 
but we can make it challenging. How do we do that? We do that, with, let them use a 44 Magnum to do that. So, and this is one out of our performance center. Uh, got a lot of features to it that really makes it nice. Now, the question with the shooters are, are they gonna be sensitive to the recoil of a 44 or can they stay focused? Now, we have done a couple things to this gun to help them out. One, as you can see, this has a 360 degree uh, compensator on there, so it really tames this piece, okay? Uh, if we want to mount an optic on it, it comes with the, uh, uh, the rails already embedded into it. It's got that nice synthetic grip, so they should get a good, good grip on the gun, should move around in their hands, all right? Uh, there again, it's got that really nice single action trigger pull and a smooth double action trigger pull uh, with a trigger stop on it. All in all, the challenge is going to be here is not as this gun going to be accurate enough to hit that ball and knock it out of the circle because this gun obviously has enough power to do that. The question is, is after the first shot, are they going to be stable enough to not think about the recoil and put that second shot where it needs to happen? Only time will tell and the first shot will know. I did not do well today. We all have good days, we all have bad days. This was a bad day. Uh, that was, I believe, the third time I've ever picked up a revolver in my life, and I think that had quite a bit to do with it. Um, other than that, I, I can't really blame the gun. It was just myself. I should have practiced a little bit more. Shooter ready. Stand by. The 625 felt really nice. I liked the moon clip idea with it. It seemed like it was a little bit quicker to load and unload than the others. Uh, felt really well in the hand. I liked the dot front sight over the red post. Well, not, not a whole lot of recoil with it. It, it seemed like it was a pretty accurate gun. Um, again, it felt good to shoot. Make your way back down. Okay. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Wiley X, Tannerite, and Brownells. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Vortex Optics, Yeti Coolers, and Carbon Express. Get ready. Stand by. Shoot the first shot, see how it reacted, and then uh, shoot accordingly from there. You know, hit the top of the target to kind of make it roll. Um, but it didn't didn't play didn't play out like I wanted it to. Yeah, it actually went all the way out. I could see the line on the other side. Um, on, the, on the second round, when I was shooting, uh, I missed with one shot and then pegged it with the third. And it went all the way out. That gust of wind came up and blew it right back in. And I was almost ready to, I'd already pushed the release for the cylinder and was getting ready to unload. And I'm like, oh no. Dude, Real quick. Keep going. Slapped it closed, brought it back up, shot the shot, and it went all the way out the back of the bay. If I could have figured out how to have done that on the first shot, I'd have been in good shape. Still clear. Range is clear. Shooter ready. Stand by. 
just slow down, get on the sights. Uh, the Ute shot in single action mode, that way I can get on the sights in point wind gust, try to hit it in the top third of the ball and just cross my fingers and wish the best luck and lean into it. I think it'd be a great tool for kids. Uh, you know, kids, we need to spend more time with them, getting them into the shooting sports and, and reactionary targets such as uh, uh, the birch woods. You get instant feedback instead of shooting paper because paper gets boring. You got to go down and look at the target. But if we can get the younger youth into, involved in shooting sports and shooting reactionary targets, I think we can get a lot of fun out of it and to keep their attention. Rangers clear. Shooter ready. Stand by. Um, I had bought a 686 Performance Center uh, a few months ago. Shot it for the first time right before we came here. Other than that, I haven't shot a revolver since a, a Smith & Wesson Model 10 in the Air Force 25 years ago. The Roman targets, I've never shot one, so I wasn't sure if you hit center mass or did you want to hit a corner and which way would it go if you rotated um, so I kind of played the odds the first time with the 44 and tried to stay center it seemed to pass through and would move with whatever the ground was doing so when I came back with the 45 I said I'm going to favor rot it's going downhill so I might get lucky with this this wind the way it is and then go ahead and take it on out favoring rot was the thing to do on it Great shooting, guys. Let's head back to Campfire Armory and see just how we did. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Tannerite, Blade Tech, and Burdett and & Son. The Right Stuff is brought to you in part by Cinch, Zions and real water. Do you think you've got the right stuff? Now seeking contenders for the next season's competition. Log on to the right stuff TV.com and send in your application now. Come on out and show us what you've got. Well, our company focus generally is for the concealed carry market. Try to find the most comfortable way to get a, a pistol into your life. And getting a gun into your life is not a comfortable thing at all. One of the things that CopTech is known for is that we're not actually going to produce a holster if there's something already available on the market unless we can find a way to improve it or get it to the customer faster or find a more affordable way to get it to them. CopTech started uh, officially back in 2000. And it started because I was, had a brief career as an executive protection officer. I couldn't find a holster for um, our client who wanted us to carry a revolver, and I couldn't find a holster. So I ended up making my own, and then my teammates saw it and said, where'd you get that? And I ended up having to make them for our whole team. We're using our international holster in the show, the right stuff, and also our mag pouches. Don't really hold a lot of, of inventory. We make it as, as that order comes in. Generally, it'll get made within six business days. Welcome back. A uh, big thank you to Smith & Wesson for providing a 629 and a 625 out of the Performance Center series. Uh, what did you guys think of those two pistols there? Awesome. Real good. Really nice. Real nice. You guys had uh, much experience with revolvers before this? No. Well. well, today's challenge was very tough, and we actually had a tie and the tie was ultimately decided by time. Uh, Terry in first place with a total of 20 points and 20, just over 27 seconds of total time. Terry, if you would. In second place with a total of 20 points, 
right at 32 seconds was Raleigh. And Raleigh, if you would, just for one second, tell us about your last shot there. You know, the first time the wind was blowing in that 44 and shooting in and going to that 45, I said, okay, let's break down a sight picture, pray for a strong wind and break a clean shot. And that thing was like money. I barely leaned on the trigger and it actually dead on, no wiggle at all. And luckily I got that wind to go with it. Well, for one shot fire for max point value, today we have the right stuff bullet. Great shooting. Terry and Raleigh are now tied up with four bullets. Micah holds third with three, and BJ trails with two. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to Campfire Armory and get our stuff ready for tomorrow. The guys take things a little slower today, going after varmints with crossbows and air rifles. This Carbon Express crossbow puts an arrow right where you want it, and the Remington air rifle is a classic for dismissing small targets, varmints, and otherwise. A straightforward challenge and a good time to catch up as we approach the end of the competition. Another fantastic Shipman Agency production.